Google's latest phones come with new software, and this year, with Android 12, there are quite a few new features under the hood. And that means lots of cool new stuff to discover. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocketlint, and in this video I'm going to show you a few of my favourite tips and tricks for you to try on your new Google phone. And while you're here, if you could tap like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell, that would be lovely. Your first tip is making the fingerprint sensor more reliable. The fingerprint sensor on the regular Pixel 6 isn't amazing, so if you want to make it a bit more reliable, there's a handy trick from back in the days when iPhone sensors weren't too hot either. Simply register the same finger or thumb multiple times. Once you've set up your first fingerprint scan, go to Settings, Security, Fingerprint Unlock. Now type in your PIN to get to the settings. Tap Add Fingerprint and scan that same finger or thumb again. In our testing, we found this made the scanner a lot less likely to fail. Number two is back tap to take a screenshot. For years, the default way to take a screenshot on Android has been to press two buttons together. It can be a tad fiddly depending on the position and the layout of those buttons, but you can enable a gesture to take a screenshot just by tapping the back of your phone. Open Settings, System, and now select Gestures. Right at the top, you'll see Quick Tap. Select this option and toggle on the feature on the next screen. By default, its action is to set a screenshot, so now when you tap twice on the back of the phone, it'll snap a screenshot for you. Now, if you'd rather have a different function, you can, whether it be pausing or playing music or launching Google Assistant or showing notifications. If you find it's too easy to activate or too sensitive, you can toggle on the option at the bottom of the screen that requires stronger taps. Number three is one-handed mode. Now, Pixel 6 and 6 Pro have big screens, so you might find some stuff at the top of the screen hard to reach. That's why Android 12 now has a one-handed mode that brings stuff down from the top of the screen. Head to Settings, System, Gestures, and choose One-Handed Mode. Now toggle it on. Once active, when you swipe down at the bottom of the screen, it'll bring the user interface lower down, allowing you to get to the stuff at the top with your thumb. Number four is turning off at a glance. By default, the Pixel's home screen features something called at a glance at the top. Most of the time, it just shows weather conditions, but it also automatically shows information like calendar events and travel plans coming up from your Gmail account. But if you want to switch this off, you can do. Just long press the At A Glance widget and tap Customize. Now tap At A Glance in the list and then turn it off. Number five is allowing home screen rotation. If you like to use your phone in landscape orientation, the Pixel having its home screen rotation feature turned off by default may be slightly frustrating, but thankfully you can enable it. Long press on your home screen wallpaper and tap Home Settings. Now toggle on the switch at the bottom next to Allow Home Screen Rotation. Now whenever you rotate your home screen to landscape, the UI will turn with you. Just make sure you enable the Auto Rotate feature in your Quick Settings Shade 2 to make sure you don't have to press that little rotating icon on the screen every time. Number six is reverse wireless charging. Pixel's reverse wireless charging feature is called Battery Share, and it'll allow you to charge compatible devices wirelessly from the back of your phone. Just drop down the quick settings shade and tap the Battery Share option. Turn your phone over and place your wireless charging compatible product on the back of it. Also, if you long press the battery share icon, you'll get to the main battery share settings. Here you'll find a slider that allows you to set a limit for when to stop charging, just in case charging your favorite buds drains your phone battery. Adjust this slider until that limit is at a comfortable level. The default is just 10%. Number seven is quickly launching Google Pay from your lock screen. Once you've set up Google Pay for contactless payments, you can access it directly from the lock screen. When your phone is locked, you'll see a little card icon at the bottom of the screen in the right corner. Tapping it quickly launches GPay so that you can use it to pay for goods. If it's not there, ensure Google Pay is set up for your chosen card and now go to Settings, Display, Lock Screen, and make sure you have the Show Wallet toggle enabled. Likewise, if you want it disabled, just switch it off. Number eight is a tip that I find particularly useful, and it's multilingual keyboard. If you speak more than one language and regularly communicate in more than one, you'll probably find it useful to have a bilingual or multilingual keyboard, rather than having to constantly switch between languages. Go to Settings, System, Languages, and then On-Screen Keyboard, and now tap Gboard. Now tap Languages and add Keyboard, and now choose the languages you want from the list. Now when you go to type, the installed Gboard keyboard will automatically detect when you're writing in one language or the other and can correct and predict spellings for both without ever having to switch keyboards. Number nine is quickly disabling your camera and your mic. 
Now this one's a really quick one, but it's a new feature. Drop down the setting shade and find the camera and mic toggles. Tap on one and it'll immediately block your camera or mic, so no app on your phone can access them at that point. Number 10 isn't new, but it is a Pixel feature that I love. It's now playing history. So one of Pixel's most useful features in recent years is displaying the name and artist of any song currently playing where you are. To activate it, go to Settings, Display and Lock Screen and now tap Now Playing. Toggle on the switch if it's not already. To view the songs that have been tagged recently, scroll down to Now Playing History and you'll see a list of songs plus the time that they were tagged. What's more, if you want to add a shortcut to this list, you can do. In fact, once you're in the list, a pop-up appears asking if you want to. Just tap yes. If it's not there, go to your home screen, long press the wallpaper and tap widgets. Now choose Android system intelligence and tap and hold the now playing history shortcut and then drag it to a space in your home screen. Number 11 is turning off your Google Discover feed. To the left of the home screen, you'll almost always find the Google feed page, showing you news and videos it thinks are relevant to you, but you can switch it off. Just long press on your wallpaper and choose home settings. Now toggle off the swipe to access Google app option. Now it'll no longer appear. Number 12 is showing a raw image switch in your camera. Open your camera, tap the settings cog in the corner and now select more settings. Now choose advanced and toggle on the option that says raw and JPEG control. Now when you open the camera settings menu that loads over the viewfinder or monitor view, you'll now see an option that lets you toggle off raw images and in so doing could save you some storage space if you take lots of photos. 13 and lastly but not least is the Android 12 Easter Egg. It's not a new version without an Easter Egg and the route to finding it is the same as always. Open settings, about phone and then tap Android version. On the next screen, tap Android version multiple times until it loads an image of a clock widget. Now turn the minute hand on the clock until the time gets to 12 o'clock. It'll now load up a spotty Android 12 Easter egg wallpaper in the colors of your phone's theme. There is one additional element to the Easter egg too. Long press your home screen and tap widgets. Now choose Android S widget and drag and drop the paint chip shortcut to your home screen. If you want to resize this widget to show multiple color cards, you can do. Tap on it and it loads a full screen, and you can tap any individual card to share that color. It's pretty pointless, but it's an Easter egg, so it doesn't really need to have a point. So there you have it, some of my favorite features and tips for you to try on your new Google phone. If you like this video, please do leave a thumbs up, it helps us a lot. Tap subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more of our uploads. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.